Today I'm going to show you how to cast on a um, knitting machine. I'm working on a bulky knitting machine, Browser 260, but the method is the same for standard machine and uh, a single machine. The first method is every other needle cast on and uh, we thread the machine first. We can add a clip at the end of the yarn and just drop it. This is a one by one needle pusher to move the needle out. Every other needle out to the holding position. It's position E all the way out. And you can pull out as many needles as you want. Now we put the yarn through the middle in the carriage and drop the clip so it has some weight. You can close this one and make sure it's threaded properly and pull it a little bit tighter if necessary. I have the tension set to number 8 for worsted weight yarn and it's up to your machine and your yarn. You can experiment with that. And the first row, I just move through. Now we see form some loop and we have to hand the weight. You can use this one if you have it. If you don't have this tool, you can use you can use a small one. Okay, now we keep going with the second row. Now that's the second row. Make sure the edge is knitted properly. You might want to adjust it with your hand. Looks good. We just keep going. And we just keep going back and forth. Now that's what it looks like. And at this point you can add a rebel cord. Um, it's just a smooth thread, maybe cotton thread or nylon. And you need one row of that and then you can start using the main yarn if this is your waist yarn. Or you can just use this as a main yarn and I will take it off the machine and show you how it looks like. I did not bind off so once I the stitch is open it's a live stitch and this side is the cast on side. This is the front and I can I can pull it tighter I think it's kind of loose If I pull the cast on yarn a little bit tighter, you'll tighten the stitch. But you can see it's not a really pretty cast on, but it will work. So this is the front and the back. The second method is the e rock cast on. You can bring out the needle as many as you like for the cast on. This is also a closed end cast on. And again, we bring out the yarn after threading to the mast and uh, clip it and drop it. And we just start from the left side and form a E, like a letter E. 
and try to push it back with your left finger and then go to the second one the letter E make sure it's not too tight so it's easier to push through and push it to the back E and we just keep going with the E shape wrapping to the back of the needle near the gay peg and then thread it through the carriage thread it through the carriage and then we can start the first row the first row is always a little bit tight that's what it looks like after the first row and then we will hang some weight I'll use the same one and the left and right edges after I hand the weight now we just keep knitting So this is what it looks like, the e wrap cast on, that's a cast on edge, it's the front side and the back side. So this can be your main yarn, you don't need a waist yarn, it looks kind of pretty, it's still a little bit stretchy. So this is an e wrap cast on. The third cast on method is a crochet cast on, or you can use the latch tool. It can be a latch tool cast on. Again, we add a little clip and drop, drop it down. And pull out the needles as many as you like for the cast on. First thing you can make a loop and put your crochet hook or the latch tool in the hole and put the yarn in between the first and second needles. We're doing it from the left to right and put the yarn to the hook and latch like that. Now we have the second loop and again we put it under under so the loop is between second and third needles and we loop through and again we go under You can just keep your hook in the bottom like that. Now the next one. Make sure it's not too tight and make sure it's in near the back so you don't get caught in the latch opening. You can push it back in a little bit and we just do this all the way. When you go to the last stitch, you just use the, the loop to go through the needle and make sure everything is in the right place. Push it back 
Now we put the yarn in the carriage and we can start knitting. Again, the first row is kind of tight, but it works. Make sure the edge needs properly. Now we can hand the weight. Again, I use my small claw weight. Keep knitting. That's the first row. Let me take it out of the machine. Take the yarn off the carriage. You can take out all the way. Just pull down the knitted piece. Now it's off the machine. This is what it looks like. Here's the edge. This is the back. This is the front. It produces a more sturdy cast on, so it's less flexible, not as stretchy, but it, it has a beautiful chain stitch, just like a crochet. So, this is a crochet cast on. The next cast on method I want to try is just a weaving cast on. You will need a weaving brush in your carriage. And this is my bulky machine, so I have to install the brush onto the machine like that. If you have a standard machine, you will look a little bit different. But just make sure you engage the brush. It just helps it to knit better and not jump out the machine. So this is what it looks like the weaving brush after we install it. Now we put the yarn in the carriage. You can close that. I have the needle, every other needle coming out all the way to the holding position and the other needles in the B position, the upper working position. And we lay the yarn over on the top and we'll start knitting the first row. That's how it looks like after the first row. You can see everything's knit back to the upper working position now. And we need several rows before we hand the weight. Make sure the end needle is knitted properly. Every after knitting every row you check, especially in the first few rows. It looks okay so far and because we have the weaving wheels down so we don't need a hand we don't need to hand wave for the first few rows. I think I can need a, a few more. After 
after a few rows that's what it looks like and you can take out the wheels and add in weights this is what it looks like from the front and the back side we add the weight here now we just continue knitting So it's similar to the every other needle cast on. We can pull it tight here a little bit. That's the front. That's the back side. Now we learn four different types of cast on. I hope you enjoy them and see you next time for the bind off.